with Spal, the ninth Serie A club to change coach midway through the 2019-20 season, it's safe to say the jobs of those at the helm in Italy's top flight are never quite secure. 16 losses from 23 league games left Leonardo Semplici's team at the foot of the table and the writing on the wall for the coach who'd overseen the Ferrara sides climb up the divisions. Although Luigi Di Biagio, the man tasked with saving Spal's season, joins the club without previous coaching experience in Serie A, he has plenty as a player. Known primarily for his sustained ability at the highest level, Di Biagio gained international recognition for his performances during his time at Roma, who he signed for in 1995. Providing consistency at a time when the club was anything but, Di Biagio held his place in the heart of the Roman midfield under four different coaches in his four seasons in the capital, amassing 114 league appearances during that period. Helping the club to fourth place in 1997-98, its highest finish in ten campaigns, a call-up to the national team followed, as did interest from Inter, who he joined in 1999. An instant regular in the midfield of a side containing the likes of Javier Zanetti, Roberto Baggio, Ronaldo and Christian Vieri, Di Biagio made 29 Serie A appearances in his first season for the Nerazzurri with his first goal for the club proving the winner in his first ever Milan derby. A defensively deployed midfielder of tenacious and combative nature, he was guaranteed to be in the thick of the action, picking up 12 red cards throughout his time in Serie A. His dismissal record is topped only by Paolo Montero with 16 to his name, these two were involved in an infamous altercation in a meeting between Inter and Juve in the 2000-2001 season, in which Di Biagio clinched the equalising goal. The following campaign saw Di Biagio come desperately close to silverware, with Inter embroiled in a three-way Scudetto chase with Juve and Roma until the final match day, the Nerazzurri needed a victory away to Lazio to guarantee the title. Despite putting his side ahead, Inter capitulated to the club Di Biagio spent his youth career at. They lost 4-2 in the capital, allowing both title rivals to leapfrog them, with Antonio Conte, part of the Juve side, crowned champions. Di Biagio's time in Milan came to an end in the summer of 2003, having played 117 of a possible 136 league games for the club. A move to Brescia followed, for whom he enjoyed a further two seasons of top-flight football scoring 16 goals in 65 Serie A appearances, despite his defensive role in the side. His retirement came in 2007 following a short stint at Ascoli, taking his total number of Serie A appearances to an impressive 391. Commended for his reliability and leadership throughout his time playing in Serie A, his new side will hope his skill and experience can be drawn upon to provide some much-needed stability in their battle to remain in Italy's top division.